Hey guys, I am in beautiful San Francisco, California, right by the Golden Gate Bridge. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a really exciting one for you guys today. We're gonna to be doing sports card hunting, San Francisco edition. Basically the idea is I'm gonna give myself a budget of $200 and I'm gonna go around some of the best sports card shops in the Bay, mostly San Francisco area, and see what I can find. Hopefully some steals, some deals. I don't know, I think it'll be fun. I wanna show you guys my backyard, the, the card shops that I go to or I went to growing up and see what we can find. So I'll see you there. All right guys, so we are outside Cards and Comics Central, San Francisco right now. This was my local card shop when I was a kid. I'm really excited, I wanna head inside. I always used to buy football packs. I would come in here and buy single football packs when I was a kid, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. If they have anything from like the 2000s, I'll be hype and I'm gonna buy a pack. That's kind of my goal, but it'll just be cool to go inside and see the store because I haven't been in there in probably 16 years. Actually, I used to come here when I was a kid, yeah. back like in 2003, so I'm uh, hoping to like relive like any football or basketball uh, or anything. Yeah. This is 11 bucks? Oh, a pack. Yeah. Oh, uh, for one pack. For one pack inside, uh, yeah. I see. How many, it's two packs in there? There's two packs in the left, looks like. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take two packs. I'll just take the box to take two packs, that's okay. all right. All right, packs of Prism secured. Maybe we can pull something. Alrighty, so I don't know if you saw the clip, but no luck on older cards. And also, it's, it's so much has changed. Um, I, I'll, I'll put a video of it. They're not even doing, you can't even go into the store anymore. They're, it's all like online curbside pickup only, which, you know, I, I assume rent is expensive here. I don't know, this isn't a, an economics thing, but so it's different. I couldn't un even go into the store, which is a little bit unfortunate, but talk with the guys, super cool. One of them actually even recognized me from the YouTube channel, so that's, that's awesome. Things come full circle. But uh, yeah, we have these prism packs. If I was, you know, whatever, seven, eight years old, like I was, this would have made me so happy. It makes me so happy now. So I don't know, maybe we can pull a Trevor Lawrence. Who knows? Let's let's see if we can get a crazy pull. I don't really have any type of holder or anything. So we're gonna like, I'm gonna try my best to one, one-handed pack opening. Forrest Buckner, is that a rookie? Kellen Mond, the goat. And then who's our orange? Monty Rice. Billy Sims. Miles Sanders, Kurt Warner, and our orange is DJ Chark Jr. Okay, so no big hits. We got a Kellen Mond. I don't know, I, I kinda, I didn't see that opening going well for me, but just a little bit of nostalgia. I think it's always fun to do that. What's up guys, I'm at Classic Materials SF in Stonestown, right by where I went to high school. Super cool store, you can see it a little bit behind me. Got memorabilia, they got cards, they got everything in here. Um, also shout out to them. Everyone, if you're in the Bay Area, check out San Francisco Card Show. I believe it's November 11th. Unfortunately, I won't be there. I'll be out of town, but, but great, great store. Always come in here when I'm in the area and they had a little bit of selection. I was I was uh, checking it out a little bit. Hopefully, make some pickups. See what we can get. Simple guy. I'm trying to I'm trying to go back to my childhood a little bit here with the video. So I like the Anthony Randall right here. One. And then I was wondering if I could see maybe like what's in the stack right here with the Patrick Willis and Frank Gore. I wanted one like old school from when I was a kid, like a Warriors card, and then hopefully something kind of old school Raiders or not Raiders. Excuse me, Niners. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Fake fan. I think I'm gonna go with the good Patrick Willis jersey card. Or is there some down in the middle shelf? Oh, the Alex Smith auto. I'm trying to think if I if I upgrade, if I got the budget to get one of these. You got millions of followers. <laughs> millions. Maybe maybe one day. Four. Yes. That's good right there. Six is your change, there's five and six. Perfect, thanks for the deal, man. All right guys, PC pickup secured, I'm super happy. Now we're gonna head, we're gonna head down south a little bit. So we've been basically in San Francisco proper. Now we're gonna get just outside, so if you wanna put an asterisk on the video, go ahead, or head down to San Mateo. 
there's some there's some good shops down there. There's two we're gonna hit, and I'm excited. I, I go there for supplies and stuff occasionally, but they also have some dollar boxes. So let's see what we can find. So last place I went into was interesting. Um, I, you know, I was like, all right, I'm already here. Let me at least buy something, you know, for the video. Couldn't really find anything. There was, first of all, there wasn't a single slab in there. Like I wasn't, you know, today my expectations were low. I'm not expecting to walk into Burbank or like Card Collector 2 store or something like that, but not a single slab. And then I was like, oh, let me just maybe Niners or Giants or Warrior stuff. But it was like a lot of random, base cards and stuff like that. I don't know. I I, I didn't give it a, a full shot, but let's just say I didn't I didn't find anything for me personally. So I didn't blow all the way through the budget. So at least that's good. Um, we'll head home now and then I'll uh, we'll do a little recap of what we picked up. Uh, real quick before though, still had some money on the budget. So I had to get the burrito real quick. All right guys, so I just got home. Uh, let's go over the, the quote unquote haul real quick. So first off, from Cards and Comics, we got the two Prism packs that ran us $25. So a little pricey, especially considering, where's our best pull in here? This Kellen Mond is our best pull and he is no longer in the league is my understanding. So a little tough, but it's all right. Um, brought back some good childhood memories. Now this was really cool from Classic Materials, the Anthony Randolph Exquisite. Pretty sure that's the A, that's that's cool. They don't make cards like this anymore. That's really, really cool. And then the Patrick Willis and then the Alex Smith auto. Is this a rookie auto? Um, I don't know, it's a good question. Regardless, it's pretty cool. Nice Niners red, this takes me back. Really happy with that. And then from lefties in San Mateo, we got the little Buster Posey refractor. Vernon Davis numbered card, I mean for one dollar it's not too bad, and then this Jeff Garcia, kind of like die cut type thing. I thought that was cool. And then also the uh, the World Cup stickers. And actually, I thought about it, I was like, man, this is, you know, with the, with the cover and everything, I mean, I don't say this like freaking give me a hero award or something, but I think I'm gonna give this to, my mom's a teacher over in Oakland. I think this would be really cool for her, her kids and stuff to like learn about countries and collect or something like that. So I don't know, get more kids in the hobby. Just thought it was interesting. Um, and overall happy with the haul, stayed under budget, even including the burrito. So super happy. But all right guys, that is it for the video. This is my first time doing something like this. So if you did enjoy it, you wanna see it again in other cities when I'm traveling, uh, drop a like, drop, drop a comment down below and we will see you next time. Peace.